pick. All right, uh, we are back and ready to go. Now we can get rid of our little just preparing. So there you go. Okay, so we are into our third game of the day for me at least, and uh, it's going to be Brax drafting against Flying Zebra Spirit of Team Breaker. Leviathan. Brax, of course, of Summoner's Rift. Dia Team Pick. And, uh, Hello Dia there, Dota TV. Bang. Right, you guys tuning in, and it's going to be an early IO pick here for the Radiant, uh, of course for Crit. Played it exceptionally well as always last game, leading to a very easy victory for the Dire. It would seem pretty fast GG. And we're going to have the Spirit Breaker, probably going to be for IX Mike, seeing how his Clockwork remaining. has been picked up now by the Dire. And uh, banned out in the first phase of every game Five so far today was remaining. the Bounty Hunter, but it looks like it's going to be coming over to the Dire now. The game before I did Reserve cast earlier, tire. there was an Arteezy Bounty Hunter. He's been playing a lot of support lately today, not really feeling the carry role. So maybe we'll be seeing that again. Uh, from what I saw, he did a pretty good job. I don't know if they won the game. I didn't catch the end of it. But uh, then they'll be picking up their own uh, clockwork as well, as previously mentioned. So in terms of the teams, uh, Zetok actually over here um, tagged up his Broken Heart Go. He is currently your FPL leader. So he's looking towards that cool cash prize of $750. Uh, Mason, who's not in this game actually, he's uh, instead spectating, he's currently yeah. in second. Flying Zebra is actually in third place. Ja, Radiant who I haven't seen yet today, back. he's in fourth. And then Demon Dota, who is also not in here, but he's in fifth place. Uh, so those are all cash prizes uh, positions. You gotta be in that top five to get something done here. So uh, in terms of people in this game who are looking to make the jump up, uh, Enzo, he's currently in sixth place, so he Ten could look to eclipse, eclipse Demon pretty soon. He's only eight points back. Uh, but other than Five that, no one else is really in the top bunch. Uh, no moves. Um, uh, not really time. fun, I don't think. No, he's not in this game either, so. Looks like there's 36 hours until the weekends. Uh, Case is he asking, so we're trying to. I'll try and get some confirmation as to when the prizes are going to be handed out and see how important these Radiant games are going to be. Zetok, of course, not going to want to lose here. Um, he, he does have a solid 20 point lead over Mason, though, so. Feeling pretty confident, I'd say, in his positioning, but uh, we'll move back into the draft. Got a few bands now. Bloodseeker banned out. Um, BSJ was playing that a little bit earlier. Looks like they won't be picking it up for him. So, Gyro, Bloodseeker, PL, the support Naga. Man, talk about the last two games making an impact. Doing a really good job. Didn't get the Ten win there for the Radiant. Maybe remaining. not quite as good, but using it as a counter up against the Tombstone was pretty nice to Five make sure that gets dismantled remaining. during the song. Uh, pick here for the Radiant. What do we got left? Uh, I mean, your last tracks banned out, your Queen of Pain's banned out. What other heroes are we even playing anymore? I don't know. We haven't seen a Nyx Assassin today, I'd be down with that, but uh, the Shadow Fiend's still left in the pool, so we could see something like a Shadow Fiend, um, maybe a Dazzle. No Dazzles yet today. Uh, also, the Lena's still available, very popular. Partnered with the Bounty Hunter, and um, unfortunately, Spear Breaker's already gone. They would have left something like that. We could see the Nature's Prophet. Uh, it's getting a little bit of FPL action, not too much lately. And so, oh yeah, other people. So this is Clairvoyance, and this is uh, Trouf, I believe, actually. Uh, yeah, it's Trouf. So if you guys are wondering as to who some of these names are. Uh, of course, we still do need the IO pairing, and we didn't see either that band out, so we could see a Tiny picked up now. They could just wait to and bait out that last band on something like the uh, Tiny of the Chaos Knight, and then just pick whatever's left over. There's also the Sven, um, the, the Ursa. Uh, we shall see. Hey. Flying Zebra also a very big fan of the Skywrath Mage, but he's actually going to draft up a Bane. Pick. So that'll be your secondary support. Uh, always good for the outside of the Clockwork cause. A lot, lot of good supports uh, being picked lately against Clockwork. There was still Rubik in the pool. Um, really nice up against Bounty Hunter to steal that track during the mid-game, but that won't be the pick here, and I don't think they'll have room for it now. We could actually, speaking of Rubik's see maybe it picked up for the dire side here. Good against Spirit Breaker, uh, good against Bane during the Fiend's Grip, you can always Ten steal that. Kind of similar to the Black Hole from Enigma. Sirens are Five rolling outside, remaining. sorry if that gets picked up here. But, uh, what do we got here? Minute 49 reserve time, so Brax taking his time. time. Uh, maybe thinking about if he wants the Shadow Fiend. Is it too risky to go Shadow Fiend against Spirit Breaker Io? I feel like it might be. We might see a, a more survivable mid. Typically, we do see the Windrunner picked up a lot against Spirit Breaker, and I say that every time there's a Spirit Breaker, but it is true. Um, the Windrun just really useful when you see that gank train flying across the map. Man, the sirens are like really rolling outside now. <laughs> I might have to mute myself here.
Okay, so we return. I'm not dead. There's like three fire trucks at the end of my street uh, and the private building, so it looks like they probably had an alarm. I don't see anything going on, too. Uh... <laughs> What's this? Alright, so there's the Dazzle pickup Radiant right now from Dire. Maybe they'll look in towards the Shadow Fiend for themselves uh, for the mid lane. Uh, as Brax. Pretty, pretty big on the Shadow Fiend. I think that's what we're actually going to see, so... Um... Eh, yeah, but again, that speed breaker. It's just so risky. For Flying Zebra... What are some good Leviathan heroes? I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe he'll make someone play the Jenkins Budge. Ten seconds remaining. And, Five uh, seconds remaining. Thirty Phantom seconds of reserve assassin. time. The PA. All right. Dire That's something we haven't seen too often. Now, uh, the other option there is that you can run a mid or in the safe lane. All these carries coming out of the woodwork <laughs> as, as we move into the the patch of all bands all the time. It's just like, if it's not less rack, it's... I mean, there's not enough end heroes to go anyway, just something we've seen quite a bit lately. Uh, this is probably your position for Bounty Hunter, and then your offlane lane clockwork, so we're still looking for a mid and a carry here um, for Five your dire side. Remaining. I don't think you want to be Shadow Fiend up against Reserve a mid PA, time. though, with a Spear Breaker. That sounds awful. Now, of course, in terms of last hits, you'll be able to deny everything from a dagger hit, so that could be good. It, it would just all depend on those first few levels now, how you could get shut down. Huskar. Radiant team. Ah, uh, but of course. So, uh, the Huskar left in the pool. The Dazzle partnered up with it. Probably should have seen that coming with the Shallow Grave. It looks like the Radiant probably did see that coming. Going for the high physical outburst here with PA. Uh, something that counters up perfectly against the Huskar. Maybe that's what took the Dire so long to pick it, thinking, uh, shit, that's actually a pretty good remaining. counter. Uh, moving to the last ban phase. Probably going to be that uh, the mid hero that they'll be looking to ban out here. Reserve time. And uh, of course, the BSJ, the Huskar, known Huskar picker. And, uh, already, I mean, there's just, <laughs> there's really not much to say. There's so many heroes. There's nothing really, nothing's outstanding. Nothing's really remaining that makes you go, oh yeah, this, Ten this is it. Remaining. Uh, in terms against Huskar, <laughs> I mean, Five what if we saw the remaining. Pugna again? That'd be something else. Uh, for like a last Dire pick here, decrepping your Huskar, I can see that being a thing. But let's uh, let's get out of this draft phase and get to the game, come on boys. Everyone's taking their time with the drafts, so they're like, getting the full reserve time going. Ten seconds remaining. Clearly the targeted Arteezy lean Five event. Seconds remaining. Just too good. <laughs> he actually did have a disgusting amount of fire being a support Lena, so Reserve I'm not even really knocking on him. The Ursa, so not looking to get up with that IO Ursa. But, I mean, they already have the IO Phantom Assassin, which is so good. So many options now. You could go like kind of a safe lane PA with like an IO at plus one mid. I do like the Ursa ban. Brax, uh, pretty familiar with the, the Ursa and everything like that, sees, uh, sees Korok play quite a bit over on Nair, so... And then Summoners are facing off ten seconds remaining. quite a bit. And ten seconds left Five here. Seconds Four seconds remaining. reserve time as well. What do you get for my Zebra? Wind Ranger at your service. The Wind Ranger, so they're actually going to go for it. Dire Maybe even a kind of a little bit of a deny pick there, something that the Dire side definitely could have been looking for. Uh, could throw a real wrench into their draft. They could always run the Huskar mid. That uh, wouldn't be the wildest thing ever. What what stacks would good against these heroes? Relatively squishy. Yeah, the puck. That's pretty good. So it's puck. Good control. Um, nice for heroes like the uh, PA who are looking to blink strike away uh, when in danger. So the dream will be able to snap and uh, get them all controlled up here, and uh, we'll get our stuff all set up. Prepare for battle. And we'll uh, we'll get right into it here. So coming out on the raiding side, it's gonna be Ix Mech on your off lane. 
Spirit Breaker, it looks like Crit's chilling with him for now. Probably just gonna secure that rune for a bounty, or that rune for a bottle, as it were. Clairvoyant's gonna be on your mid Windrunner. And then Flying Zebra, the captain, on your support Bane. Trout gonna be on your safe lane PA. RTZ is gonna be on that roaming bounty hunter again, just like earlier today. Enso gonna be on the offlane clockwork. We're gonna have Z-Talk on your Dazzle. Brax gonna be, oh wow, it's only Brax. Why doesn't it have Axe, 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 Axe? What happened to that? Anyway, he's gonna be on your mid puck. And BSJ on his famed Huskar. <laughs> 30 seconds to battle. All right, y'all chat begins. RTZ, just getting things out here with his Vanish, so... I already got the ward down, he's waiting to see if anyone pops up. Dyer gonna contest the bottom rune, the Rain gonna contest the top rune, looks like it'll just be a swap each. I don't think, uh, BSJ is gonna die for this, and I don't think Trav's gonna die for bot. Oh, Trav. He's, all, he's, he's being cautious here, you can see him, like, getting ready, yeah, he's backing right away. The battle begins. Yeah, he's determining it's not worth it, and... It's gonna be nice for Brax to be closer to that bottle. And we'll see how Crit plays this early game now with the uh, Enzo Clock Rub against Trout's PA. I, I don't think he'll be in too much danger, so Crit could look to help out Ike's Mike a bit. This ward's spawning with Zebra's rotations, and it's also going to block that camp, so they'll know something is up there. And uh, that won't allow Crit to do any stacks. Crit, really low HP, being a. Uh, Aya with nothing but a bottle, so Arteezy might be able to get a few pickoffs going in. They already have this early sentry here, just so they can get the vision on them, and he'll win red just to avoid the Janata strike. Uh, Aya's Mike hasn't skilled anything yet, but of course we have the charge available. If he doesn't have escape, him and Z have those trade blows. Uh, Mike unable to skill the bash because it's just too dangerous uh, to not have charge available. And uh, we'll see how this starts. Brax with a nice early lead here. Four lasses. So he's cleaning up these first couple waves. 65 up against the 61 of the Windrager, so uh, pretty even in terms of lasting capabilities. And the animation for Windrunner are a bit better though. But Brax totally not phased. He's got these two creeps sitting on his high ground. He'll be able to clear these up as well. Don't disappoint me, Brax. <laughs> Doesn't end up missing one, but uh, gets the harass there. And so pretty deep. Tra tanking about half his HP. No uh, stout shield, so taking a lot of damage on his creep on the tower. And so actually taking the mana burn. Uh, from the cogs. So nicely played there. It looks like there's the tether in uh, <laughs> the safe player points. A little bit of HP there from crit. And RTZ down here just putting on so much harass with this uh, venom or venom. And he'll just blink back, yep. Again, actually gonna destroy these trees here. Bottle up uh, clairvoyance as well. Okay, alright. Anyway, two tangles left here for Trout. Quite a bit of trouble. I don't know, maybe we'll see like the two points into Flare. Uh, nothing yet in terms of Flare. Really, with all this harass coming from Ardizi, he might not need to Flare harasses so much as just the uh, sustained damage. Oh, they're charging on the Brax here. Ix Mike with the charge, quick tethering up. He's got no HP. There you go. So it goes down. Unable to face hit the last right click there. And that's your first blood, and it's gonna go to crit, so he picks up the boots, as one would suspect. And that's a nice early lead for your Radiant Sub. Uh, in the bottom lane, it looks like they're going in on Zebra, and so Anarchy is both really low. I'm trying to get this finish to kill off. Oh, now Trout, he might be in trouble. The battery's all still going to get stunned up now. There is a turret on our teeth to the vision. Oh, the nice cogs! Uh, Ix Mike is going to pick up the kill. The creeps will first actually the creep kill both of them. Which I'm sure Ix Mike is not very pleased with, so he actually doesn't get anything for this whole rotation. <laughs> PPD throws up the dot, and uh, that sums it up pretty well. <laughs> both dying to creeps. <laughs> But they clear out that bottom lane, so that's a, definitely a win for them. No experience being shared. Easy. Easy game. Yeah. Now Brax with that death. Still actually a level up on uh, Clairvoyance. Uh, and leading in experience. Not gonna want trade blows for much longer with that wind run. Have to disjoint with the phase shift there. BSJ getting total free from on his Huskar. Exactly what he wants. Going right into that early armlet. Ix Mike in behind. Does he have the- he does, he has the boosted point already. He's actually gonna get this courier. They need to buy fly- oh, I am. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, no. Oh god. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Oh, oh. My target <laughs> eludes me. And Artizi dies the tower. Oh, jeez. 
So I Max on the rating this team or this game guys, just so you know. Um, in case anyone was wondering, I, I did just point that out for you all, so you're very welcome. RTZ is loving this dank text. Here I thought Ix Mike was a courier sniper. Little did I know, he's just a space cap. I feel I feel pretty ashamed right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but we'll just we'll try and move, look past that together as a team. As uh, Ix Mike does have the charge on the practice, they're gonna have the vision here. All right, looks like Crit's nearby, so they're gonna try to tether right onto Mike as he comes in. There's the power shot to stop him. Not a big activation. That's always gonna be the jaw. Nice orb already. He's not gonna go for it. Maybe thinking they were gonna back. Oh, nice shot from Clara Voids. That's the kill. Zetal comes in as well. Puts a slow on the hack. I can maybe Clara Voids, but um, uh oh, uh, this is some wrong neighborhood, friend. Need a bash. Where's that 17 percent? Come on, Mike. What do you got? Oh, man, he's gonna get brave on the time. So there's gonna be the power shot. He's actually gonna charge. Just try and keep him under control. He jukes to the left, but won't be enough to live. And Mima on the bottom lane. Looks like RTC is trying to chase down Flying Zebra, but he's at full HP. So we try and Dyer's take some tower. stock of the other lanes right now. Uh, Trout reduced to dagger lasting in his own safe lane. Gonna get a few, actually missing a couple under tower. <laughs> this is Trout, every time he casts, he watches the carry, and he goes, oh, he missed that last, he should've had that. Die! Oh, man, he should've softened that up once. <laughs> so, uh, RTC in the mid lane now, no sentry anymore, of course the tower gonna spot him out, and he just walks right past it, but... This is your RTZ Bounty Hunter, ladies and gentlemen. He's aggressive. BSJ being chased out by Ix, Mike, and Crit. He's trying to heal up with the inner vitality, but he will go down. Yeah, we almost missed that one, but... Ix, Mike, gonna tank a bit of Creek Waves here, and... Z-Talk not gonna be close enough to throw to stun or anything. By stun, I mean the slow, but... Uh, crit, no bottle charges. Together, oh, nice salvo. I'll keep up. Clear points with the question mark. Oh, he just dove. Radiance middle he actually tower didn't even get the attack. anything. 139 gold, all radiant heroes. That's easy. Just diving in. Dying. Uh, it's my, my couple of flaming spears. And, oh man, there is just too much shit going on. Looks like they dove Enzo into the tower there. He goes down. <laughs> Alright, TZ's diving tier 3s. Chop's diving tier 1s. Uh, I'm at a loss, folks. How's, uh, how's that blink coming along there, Brax? He's got his boots, he's got his null. Uh, he's got an invis bottle, so he might be able to get a kill here uh, with the dream coil. Once he does pop onto the level 6. No TP scroll though, so it's gonna have to be on Clairvoyance if he wants to go for it. Man, Clairvoyance now completely dominating this lane in terms of experience after those ganks onto Brax. RTZ instead ganking tier 3s, so Brax gonna have a little bit of a hard time. Looks like Mike and uh, Crit are thinking about pulling off another maneuver here. RTZ may be anticipating a dive. He's, he's coming nearby. Oh, nice shackle again. The power shot, it's already been used, so he'll have to try a long range snipe. He's gonna go for it, but Brax, too wise for that. He even has the phase shift if it's really needed. Now he pops the invis. The Dream Coil is ready with RTZ nearby. They could go for the kill here. He needs to properly position this. Oh, actually, not able to get that to orb off and do any damage. I steal from the slow. RTZ, level 2 in the uh, shuriken. They might be able to do something here. They're trying, but now Flying Zebra's nearby. Puts on the Nightmare, so he's really gonna full power shot on him. Actually, a Shackle of 2 together. Nicely played by Clear Voice. Well, that's the fully charged power shot. Oh, one right click. He actually gets it. Uh, I'm able to jump there from Frax, and no power shot gonna be available. No way to get his mana back. Actually, this is one more charge. I wonder... Oh, man, he can get this. Nah, he guess it's wrong, though. So RTZ will live this time. Uh, Meme on the top lane, it looks like BSJ is thinking about jumping over here. He does have the 6, so the life break's available if he wants it. Uh, Ix Mike's charging in the bot lane as uh, Trout goes in on Enzo. He's actually going to blink north, so drawing Enzo with him. Let's see if he can get something done here. Here comes the charge, down the strike, not yet available. Only level 5, he's getting there. Rax is coming to the bot lane though. And they're actually just going to retreat, seeing the rotation because of this ward. So, nicely placed there, going to keep them alive. And Clairvoyant Slash come down and give a free bottle over to Trout. So it's a 3v3 in the bot lane. <laughs> Clairvoyant with the snipe on RTZ, nicely played. RTZ with the flames. The armlet. Oh, the charge on the Brax again, he's in trouble. Another disgusting shackle. No, he actually bashes the creep out of the way, but oh man, who cares? That 17% coming through. Easy kill. Going right to Brain, Bane with the Brain Sap, who's now level 6 and has the Fiend's Grip available. Dyer's middle tower oh, they're going to relocate. Rail the end zone. They have to die on them. They need to bring anybody 
Wait, that's the most fast talk for possible win damage. Man, this bear play bear player going ham sandwich. Aw, oh, PPD. So nice. Throwing out the compliments to his little buddy Ike. Like, your face at Pro League, admin, birthright, I don't know, all that fun stuff. Father of NEL. That's very nice. RTZ, <laughs> close in on that level 6, so the track will soon be available, and uh, I'm sure this is going to be a little bit ugly. Yeah, it's about almost 5k, they're getting up there, but maybe the track will be able to bring that back down some. What about in terms of experience? Uh, not too bad, only about 2 and a bit. So, could, could be worse here. Uh, Axe Mike, looking to get aggressive up here at the top lane again. BSJ, we haven't seen the life break yet, but we have seen a lot of farm. Um, he's got the Morbid Mask up, so he'll have some life steal going. Probably go into the helm and go right for the Roche Pit. We shall see. What's Clare Moines doing? Tower is under attack. Uh, nothing picked up yet. Brax, phase shifting that. Easy peasy. I'm not sure if he picked something up or if he's just died a lot, but... Uh, he's gonna be charged right now by X-Mike, so... Does he have to go back over the river? He's not going to. Yeah, he's gonna do shit. Nice silence, though. Oh, he's gonna get charged up the tree. This he's gonna die. Uh, it's gonna be TP in here from Z-Talk, it's gonna be too late to save him though. Can we get a hook shot? It's already on full damage. Radiance top left hand side, looks like he cleaned attack. up crit. That's a we watch Brax die. Are fortified. And uh, Ox Mike is gonna be charging to the top lane. Chugga 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 chugga. <laughs> PSJ, eh, relatively low, but it won't matter. Won't be able to get that kill on his own. Oh, there will be a relocate actually from crit, are they planning something? There you are! Yeah, he comes in, the next strength available in one dash, because he can't really need that. So much easy peasy, he brings flying fever for the brain sap, so that pure oh, damage going right through Huskar. That's a nice little pickup. Player points, uh, I'm able to get shackle on anything there. Uh, we predicted that Enso was going to be moving forward, but... Alright, TC's here, he has the track, but his sentry is just gonna win run and immediately start going on him. Uh, has the focus fire if he wants it, but not gonna try it. He might now. RTC is just being really careful, trying to use his track. I'm not sure that they do feel they're gonna get the bonus. I actually like he's chasing on him, doesn't have a dust though. So RTC's gonna go invis and there's nothing more. Oh my god, 4 HP! And he won't be able to finish the job on the RTC. But uh, Enzo will go down to Clairvoyance. As well in the mid lane. He's trying to catch RTC. I don't know. I Mike knows he's tracked up. Wow, that is... That is risky business. <laughs> or DZ, please. Is under attack. I'd say Z-Tox took some solo experience up here. BJ has come down. He's got a smoke, so he's probably heading right to the brush pit. Nah, the shackle's not gonna fallen. connect. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Gonna enemy points? Yeah, he's going right for the eggs. Uh, pretty 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 cool, but... is under attack. The Fiend's Crypt? Oh, so close. Not quite enough. Dyer's structures are fortified. Uh -oh, and it's up! Gonna get flared. This creep might be in the way. Actually, he's gonna come right back through. Really counting on him. Really counting on him. Gonna go right on the creep. This gonna be a nice little kill. Oh, RTZ. Gonna be rich. Dyer's bottom tower. We see this quite a bit in the arcanes. Now, I expect he's still going. He has another strike. He's gonna get silenced up here. Yeah, he knows it. Brax is closing in on him. He's gonna pop this. He's gonna try and fight. See if he can do this. He's gonna stop the nether strike. There's a track as well from RTZ. The orb comes through. He's still going on to end though. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Maybe one more bash. He can't go get it to Shirk. Unfortunately, he's gonna get the orb. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Maybe one more bash. He can't get it to Shirk. Maybe one more bash. He can't get it to Shirk. And pulls him up. And RTZ gets a freak track kill. Meanwhile, on the top lane, uh, they do bring down crit. Oh, wait. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Anyway, they don't kill anyone in the top lane. Just Radiant's need more coffee, that's all. There! Crit <laughs> goes with a YOLO relocate kill. Uh, gonna be unable to get it, but no real danger here for him. And he has to hit smoke into the rush pit. Arteezy wants his experience. Oh man, that was close. It must be like a. Two. So he only gets three hits. So he like can't die to this. That's interesting. It's kind of similar how Drab wants to do it. So we'll see what they can do while BSU just finishes off the balls will catch him. Nice to up there. Oh, actually, they just, I thought he got blown up there by Drought, but now they're trapped down on the cog. We're actually going to get off some of the spells. It's really going to help this fight out. The crit does come out on there. TZ Trout, man fighting, he doesn't win it. Looks like the shackles in there. It's on to Enzo. Uh, BSJ does come in. The Aegis is popped. Enzo getting low. Shackles in there. Enzo getting low. There's a power shot in the nails. There's a player of man. This guy is a sniper. Instant buyback from Arteezy. Enzo getting low. There's a player of man. This guy is a sniper. Instant buyback from Arteezy. 
they're gonna try and chase this down. Wait, he's just gonna fuck as well? I thought he was already dead. Looks like he was in here. Nicely played there, and RTZ with that buyback. This is like the second game in a row RTZ's done this. He just buys back, YOLO. Crit 891 HP with a perseverance? What is this? Like an early Lotus Orb or something? I guess it does just buff your natural regen, so when you're tethered to people. Um, how does Life Break function with Lotus Orb? Anyone know? Anyone want to throw that into a shed? That Regeneration! Have no clue. I, haven't, I assume you both just jump at each other and you can Life Break for the damage dealt, but... Pretty safe to assume, I guess. I just haven't seen it done, but mechanics-wise, that should be how it functions. Another shackle in from uh, Claire Boyne. Man, he is on fire here. I have tried to find my finesse right now. He's gonna be BSJ jumping on top of this. He might get a return kill on Pike. He's not nearby. He is on shot. He is on his strike. He's looking for something. Here comes the Jonathan. Okay, he's here. Missed the dream coil on the Claire Boyne, though, so not gonna be able to clean this up. There will be another life break, but. Actually, he went for it. Went back for a four snap. I like that. The point was just tank up and uh, some survivability from the four snap as well. And you can do some pretty neat shenanigans there with the uh, shackles too. Radiance bottom tower is under uh, attack. And of course, always gets a clock with that four snap on your team from someone. And they'll keep an eye on him with the track. Radiance okay, bottom points, tower please. is under attack. This is this is a PR cast. We you know. Or PC, that's the one. Political correctness. None of that now. And he's got the Windrun available. They're all here. Oh, is he there? Oh, he's trying to make some... I might get charged in great by. He could cancel and come right in this, and he will. Pops the dust on there, and DZ, or DZ, deep shit here now. The silence of Brax, could have stopped another strike, and Z-Talk's nearby as well. Here's the Shell Grave. They're gonna put the armor or deep up onto Ike's mic. And, uh, just kind of retreat away here. So not too bad. Trap is really deep in dire territory, just arming up in the top lane. And Kirkham coming as well. There, they're still nearby. Oh, nice to try to get so he's gonna try and split the in, so there's the, uh, the push there. Brax is blinked over to the other side with the uh, jaunt. PSJ going long distance, and the force staff for Claire points to try and save Ike's Mike Moon on the side there. Uh, we are gonna lose your bane to track kill, and Ike's Mike Moon as well. PSJ going to town and everybody. Gonna force a TPO from Clairvoyance. Oh, middle tower well, that was nice to the dire side. Go 2800 gold victory. 1268 your bounty hunter. So many trap kills, just keeping them all active. And you're gonna have your mech finished up in just a moment here for your bounty. Oh, is that it on the courier? That is it on the courier. He has the mech and 800 gold. <laughs> so Radiance rough start turns into a decent mech game. This is why we are seeing it. Oh, wow. Trout gets the crit. <laughs> This is your problem with pocket the low levels, you just don't have the points into phase shift yet and can't survive those kind of gags. So nicely played there. He actually is 4 2 and 5 with a battle fear at 17 minutes, I'll be pretty happy. Root. BSJ clearing up some agents. Looks like Mike's in here pretty deep, gets a good ward in here. Didn't run to Z Talk. Z Talk is deep warding actually, so. I'm not sure if he was under a ward already, and that's where the charge started from, or he might have got targeted from this one and figured, uh, yeah, they're gonna find it now, so. Seeing the charge come out, letting them know that there is some vision there. Brax here again. Still not close to that uh, blink dagger. In fact, in terms of the net worth, he's second lowest on his team, just ahead of his dazzle. Not really involved in any of these uh, track kills. He keeps dying before it happens because he is focused down. Is and attack. that that is stifling him in terms of getting towards that blink. And P Puck is like, you don't feel complete without the blink. It feels like it's part of your hero, especially all throughout that mid game. Think about the hook shots, they're gonna hit it. Lord providing that vision. Trout throwing the dagger from the top. Rax looking to maybe pop the dream coil onto him. Ah, not gonna be able to deny himself the nightmare. A solid effort though. Uh oh, here comes the dream coil. He gets the silence, gonna ensure he can't blink away. And there's the track as well. He's in deep trouble now. So dead. There's your mana. And uh, there's all your money. Come over to Brax. So, about 900 away from his Blink Dagger now. The rest of the Radiant team is in the is top lane, all three of them. And yeah, they're gonna look to push the tower now with the Focus Fire. That Ag's about 600 gold away now. So, Clairvoyance. Get closer to that with his tower bounty, assuming they can hand it over to him. Brax Mike stopping the charge. 
Radiant's bottom here. tower is under attack. And uh, RTZ. Did he get a track on the mic? He did not because he wasn't on high ground. So they're actually going to set the TPs up here. There's the track, so oh man. Clairvoyance goes to the TP, but seeing RTZ, he knows like, oh shit, I'm just going to get shirk. And so he starts to run, gets a nice little shot. Radiant's shackle, bottom tower lot. has ESJ. fallen. Ah, doesn't look able to catch up. Movement speed burst from the IO. Keep him going. Brax does fire him up that blink dagger, taking down the bottom tower. So that's pretty nice. So what's next? Uh, we see the Dagon quite a bit, like kind of like a mech Dagon with the Arcane. You can support it. And then late game, you can go for like the Greaves. Probably gonna be the Blink Dagger, actually. Um, it seems like RTZ is really prioritizing keeping all these tracks going, so... Uh, I, it looks like it's gonna be the Blink. It's just gonna wait in base to grab it. Radiance top tower is under attack. And, yeah, so there we go. So he'll keep everybody tracked up. Radiance top and tower has top fallen. Tower. Working on AC for himself. That's my kind of set of charge here. Uh, the grave is available, and Clairvoyance is too far away, so this will just be a movement charge. He'll clear out the top wave. Yep. Oh, Trout can run away from that. Cheesy man, that's such a fine long range vision, but nice hook on him. And so, guys, uh, get him stunned up a little bit. Nice drink flow as well. Gonna throw up. Oh, on the trap, everything actually. So many tracks. Like, Crimson next on the list. In comes Player of Voice. He's trying to focus fire down our TZ as much as he can. This will be a, like a Pinata roll. He's got such a big bounty on him right now. Uh, Brax does get the kill. Oh, he's got to play away. And now in comes uh, ESJ, the orb. It's going to miss on the fine team, but look at the kill, though. Tracks and everything. Power shot on the ESJ. Life break available at 5. Just the burning spears will burn him down. So that's 4 white for the radiant side. All in exchange for. Uh, Easy. Who's not happy to die for that? Boom! There it goes. Wow. Three thousand four hundred eighty-four gold. Still got off lots of tracks before he did die. And uh, talk about Brax getting back in the game. He's now up above his clockwork. And uh, pretty squishy Brady lineup. He could be going for the uh, for the Dagon, but perhaps the Ewels just to stay survivable. Shackle's been doing quite a bit of work for him, so I'm sure he'd like to avoid that in the future. And yeah, it's gonna be the Eagles. Glimmer Cape gonna be built here by Z-Talk. So what's Drop gonna go for next? He's got the Helm. Uh, he's got the Battle Fury. Does he have anything else in the Courier? He does not, so he's, he's relatively poor. Um, I mean, Battle Fury is just so really expensive. It just seems poor when all you have is Battle Fury, but it is 21 minutes. I mean, he's third in the net worth, so... Dark light. BSG is closing on that AC. Looks like he's getting very close out. They're gonna try to find Zebra and so here with the blade mail as well. He tries anything, so. <laughs> that was a nightmare, but that won't be anything to save him. Meanwhile, Trap actually goes in and gets a crit on the BSG to blow him up, so that's 603 gold. I'd be happy with that. Everyone's happy with that, so they're 12 times as fast. Uh, relocate right on top of Z-Talk with Shackle holding her over the place. Now they know Strike from Bike right on the head, so he's pretty available. Actually, Force Staffs himself with me, he might get away from you. Ah, uh, but they've got the vision. So you'll have your brass blanket from the Blade Mill on you know, to stop that. And suddenly, Trials are 2200 gold, he could be going towards BKB. Alright, he's trying to keep these tracks up, and they're gonna charge on the Brax, and he knows, oh, okay, I know. So he just goes right home. Do they have any more detection with them? No, he. Oh, yeah, they do. They have the dust. Oh, is he gonna. <laughs> I, thought, I thought for sure he was gonna play stop that, but he would die for it. So, not exactly worth it. Oh, actually, he manages to get the charge off from him first. Let's well, see, just trying to refresh this track, but he could pay for this. Three more seconds. Oh, man, he could die. Trout is baiting this very nicely. Mike's coming in, but now he has the Dream Foil. A crit in here as well. Jesus is gonna go down. They have the dust ready now. Brax is nearby. He has a phase shift, and he has the Yule, so he's very survival right now. He needs to wait for this, uh, uh, the orb in order to survive here. The ball's gonna stop him. Oh my god. Dagger, dagger. Dagger, right. Now he goes. DSJ is shallow grave top. He's gonna be using the iron, but they're gonna go right to the flying Z. But uh, has the brains happen a bit, so if you can time it just right, he might be able to survive this, but it's it's a DJ. If you can get a nightmare, you go brains tap. You will able to find him. Wow, he gets out. Uh, no, nothing really uh, off cooldown in terms of stuns, so a free escape there. Let's say Trout bought something. That's yeah, gonna be the BKB. That's not surprising. 
and BSJ pick up his second rush of the game. Uh, Mike gonna get tracked up. Fingers and fast on the track on there, Artizi. So he'll just blink towards his team. <laughs> oh man, Artizi is so many of these tracks. <laughs> gonna catch Crit out with one as well. Again, no charge. He's coming back in. What a player. Look at this guy. What a pest. Uh, charge. Mike, they have dust. Yeah, Artizi's dead. These are questionable movements. Even the Helm the Dominator creeps from Trout, just showing up the micro skills. <laughs> Arteza, you have issues. That, that, was, that, that was decidedly questionable. Are you streaming this? I'm thinking you're not streaming this. No. I have to say, I, I, I was seeing some hate threats. Oh man. Nice little shot there, man. So right out of the flying speed run. And there's nothing he can even do. Puts the nightmare on him and sticks himself up. Trying to survive. Actually, waits out the blade bail, so pretty much plays it as well as he could. Be a third place FPL player, ladies and gentlemen. And it is going to be that early Lotus one for your IO, so started that about 20 minutes ago, it would seem, but here it is. Because, you know, he, I mean, he's an IO. It's not exactly late. It's incredible. Dyer's middle tower. 63, 6400 gold to 24 Radiance minutes. Bottom tower is under attack. So what do you got here? I mean, nice for an IO, because it gives you that nice uh, HP regen and mana regen. It's going to reflect back that life break. We'll see how that goes. Radiant structures are fortified. Uh, and hook shot? I guess Radiance he would like. Bottom tower is under I don't know. I guess you hook onto each other. Radiant's bottom tower All right. has fallen. <laughs> it also bounced back the track. That's pretty funny. So, uh, if you that active and someone gets tracked, it'll instantly track our TZ. I'll probably catch him off guard the first time. Now, drop up here with the BKB, going for a Yasha next. I don't think he's too afraid of much. Dyer's top and can they get a dust? Oh, Claire White's actually going to immediately back, not wanting to fight this. And there's a TP in from Brax. And, uh, I don't know, they can try this thing. Alright, looks like there's a hookshot in from him, so nice hog push as well. Gonna split this fight up with that crit on the back, so I can't really get a good shackle. Nothing for that uh, to go to. That crit looking for that tether. Trying to save Ix Mike. And it looks like he's just gonna let him go down. And the shirk and so much magic for his feeling <laughs> that he won't be able to save him. And I think he's actually gonna go right into the Guardian Greaves after the blink. And BSJ. As I feel like completely AC has the Aegis. Glimmer Cape up on Zetox, so they can keep him alive and fighting for a long, long, long while. Alright, what do we got, folks? Have they, have they said to make that comeback? They are definitely making that comeback. Remember when the rating was up 7,500 gold? Then track happened. What a hero. Your first fan, ladies and gentlemen. Now, mind you, they have completely come back from a 5k EXP deference. And uh, blinking ahead is their TZ looking for more of these tracks. And then they're going to spot them out with this uh, Sentry and Ops combination. So they know they're all here, but they will instantly award that. So nice game sense there from Z Talk. Reducing some of that vision. In terms of the total vision, the Radiant now pretty much helpful. It's just this. They do spot our TZ here. Oh, no, they don't. They they can't see that. It's just the minimap. Does not get affected by that fog. Uh, nice ward up there. No wards there from the Radiant. So they have no idea that that has just happened. And the entire dire side just chilling right here. Radiance and we'll see if they try and make something happen attack. with it. Zoom out to the ISS. And... Try and some positioning here. Clairvoyant's off to the Radiance left. Man, that alpha wolf is absolutely attack. humongous from way up here. That is hilarious. Pass it on to... Can you even go further? No, you can't. Okay, we'll, we'll actually come back into the Dota match. Never seen it before. Radiance middle tower <laughs> has fallen. Keep these tracks going. Just using the vision of one to pop it onto the next. Free tower. Uh, it is going to be the eggs into the crit, so slasher's way. I'll put the mobility item in between. Brax just firing up on the side. He's actually going to TP home. And looks like Trouth and Crit are just up for farming. This is good. Uh, Got to keep that goal coming in for your PA. Stay relevant. And he's actually going to charge onto Zetox. He's going to go through everybody. Oh, he got some good though. Conveniently, he actually blinked away, so that won't be able to stop attack. the TP. Black Zebra and Eve Trouble. Something just got global. 
Oh, he gets the nightmare off the chest before the banshee. Not enough time. The light break's available, so Flying Beaver is very much dead. And uh, this is even more track old, and Guardian Greaves comes out. <laughs> Blinking forward, trying to get more RTC Flying Beaver so aggressively. It's been working though, it's brought them right back into this game. Drop and crit, still up in the top lane, still pushing. Uh, they don't want to go too close, trying to keep an attack. eye on what they are up to. Radiant's middle tower All they can see is BSJ. <laughs> Trap can really get all the shackle, ladies and gentlemen, so... <laughs> just gonna be a crit... <laughs> a, uh, yeah, a creep onto an alpha wolf. The net comes in from Trap. I'm going for the Trap. Uh, Radiant's middle tower there. has fallen. And the Rax here. She's gonna TP back in, the same to relocate, and the shackle is gonna have this time. BSJ can go down this time. Spirit Breaker, Clear Boyne's getting really low well inside as well. Dagger comes in here, it's there from the uh, HP, it's not going to be a crit. And there goes your main, you can look at it time. BSJ is going to town as well. Oh, well, so not going to be a there. I expect him to be able to bring down Brax though, he can slow down by the, uh, by the Dizzle, but... In the end, three down, they only lose Brax. They should be able to get this melee Rax. Just like the first real fight we've had in a while. Uh, and that goes down. Uh, tower's still up in the top lane, they won't be able to go there. Could think about going bot, but... Respawn timers are soon, and they don't have any ages or anything left, so... They'll just go back, farm up, uh, purchase their items. So, Satanic coming over here, Husky, he's got his, uh... He's a Reaver as well. And so, he's essentially has an X, but 100 gold away. Alright, TZ, up to 4300 gold. Man, this hero! Why? Is, am I the only one who does not have bounty hunters to get this rich? Uh, probably could just go for the Diagon. It's a little bit lame the game to start picking up. Maybe something like a, uh, honestly, even a missile. Seems like it would be really good this game. And he's actually going to go for the Crimson Guard. Okay, this is the most defensive bounty you've ever seen. That is hilarious. Well. That's first. <laughs> uh, this Roach, we'll know the timing in about a minute. See how long it's gonna be. That's that's hilarious. So the Radiant are smoked up, trying to make something happen. Are the Dire also smoked? They are. So Battle of the Smoke Wars. No vision from either side, spotting anyone out here. No, they're gonna see Alex Mike down bot, so they know where they are. Oh, okay, this could be bad for the Radiant. Artiz is in here, he's smoked up. Oh, he doesn't have his invis on though, so they're gonna know he's right there. They're gonna try and go on him, maybe thinking that he's alone. Instantly pops the crimson guard, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is that? Oh, no, he misses the hook shot. Crit instantly blown up. The little sword doing absolutely nothing. Flying Beaver comes to the cause. Drop the BKB, trying to get as much damage as he can, but BSJ is just too much. Flying Beaver's still alive, Blood Metal's popped. Claire Voice is gonna go down next. The move on to Flying Beaver finish. Not Lags might try to TP up on the side. There's no Dream Clothes or anything available, but it's a GG. So throw up the Ix might exit. Ix might unhappy with that. Getting his own, his own flame thrown back at him. Well, that was a pretty fast one. Only 32 minutes. It's only two o'clock. I say we go again. Well, we'll keep the train rolling. Why not? Your MVP that game. Hmm. I don't know.